Hi, uh, my name is Victoria Yampolsky and I run the Startup Station. The Startup Station is a comprehensive financial resource for early stage startup founders where we provide classes, services, and free resources such as this YouTube channel. In this video, I'd like to talk about the difference between WEC, which stands for Weighted Average Cost of Capital, and the Investor's Return. From my experience, this is a very confusing topic for a lot of entrepreneurs, especially those with no finance experience. So let's begin by talking about WEC. WEC is a measure of risk. It's a rate that you use to discount your cash flows from the future to the present to determine the value of your company. Because it's a measure of risk, WAC is higher for risky ventures such as early stage startups. It is lower for later stage startups than for earlier stage startups. And it's even lower for publicly traded companies. It is lowest for companies with a very large market cap that are very stable. Now, WEC uh, not only differs by the company's size and stage of development, but it also differs by the asset type. Because equity is riskier than debt, WEC for a purely equity investment is higher than a WEC for a purely debt investment. Now, what do you do for a company that has both? You then have to incorporate both asset types when you calculate the weighted average cost of capital for that company. And you follow the following formula. The percentage of equity of the total capital times the cost of equity plus the percentage of debt of the total capital times the cost of debt, where the total capital is defined as the sum of equity and debt. And now we're going to learn how to calculate cost of debt and cost of equity. Now, why is the cost of debt determined by the interest rate on debt multiplied by one minus the tax rate? This is simply because the interest expense is tax deductible and you are able to reduce your taxable income by deducting it from your revenues. Now, how do you determine a weighted average cost of capital for an equity investment? For publicly traded companies, you would use a formula based on a capital asset pricing model. This model is not applicable for early stage companies and therefore you would simply use a range. This range is from 50 to 70% and the riskier your company is, the higher you would be in that range. Another way to think about WEC is to realize that this is the minimum investment return that investors require in order to invest into your company in the form of debt or equity. Well, if WEC is the minimum return, then what do we mean by the investor's return? Well, the investor's return is the desired return. Investors are not happy with 50 to 70% return on their investments because most of those will fail. In order for them to make money on a portfolio, they need to be able to realize a 10 to 20 times return on the one investment that will succeed. And this is the return that they use to determine the equity stake that they must own of your company for the amount of money that they're going to invest. For more information about these concepts in eight valuation models specifically used to value early stage ventures, please check out our third class, Valuation Models for Early Stage Companies. For more information, go to www.thestartupstation.com and you're always 
welcome to email me at victoria at the startupstation.com as well. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.